Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the reverse pass. A very interesting skill which can be used in the game and there are three or four different situations where you can use it. So let's go. All right, so the big question is, uh, when and why would you choose to use a reverse pass? Well, obviously, when the ball is on the right side of your body, you can choose to use the forehand, and you could try to use a overhead, or you can use a push pass, and then you have vision. But sometimes, you're running inside, and you have the ball on the left side of your body. So when the ball is on the left side of your body, you have two options. Either, when you want to play forward, or play a pass, you can pass like this, but it's quite difficult and it's, it's a hard skill, you can't get power, or you have to pull the ball back and then use your forehand. However, it takes more time. So because you want to save time sometimes, and in the corner of your eye, of your eye you might see that there's an opening or there's someone free in your team, that could be a moment for you to use the reverse pass. And it can give you uh, just a split second more time to make sure you can actually reach and fill the gap that you see. Another thing that I really like about the reverse pass is that uh, the opponent never really sees it coming and they're always a bit surprised by the reverse pass. Why? Usually the reverse is used mainly to shoot the ball on goal and because it's sometimes quite hard to control the reverse shot, defenders tend to kind of get a little bit scared sometimes when you, when you pass the ball with your reverse because when I'm in front of my opponent and I lift my stick, the opponent is always going to be a little bit like, okay, am I going to jump in and try and block the pass or am I going to step away because they might be a little bit scared which obviously you shouldn't be, however, most defenders are. So, now that we know why and how, let's talk about how to do this skill. So how do we do this skill? Well, obviously when we're hitting a reverse on goal, that's when you can actually just give it everything you have. And it doesn't really matter if the ball goes low or high on goal. However, if we're passing on the field, the ball needs to stay low. So I always say, if you hit 100% backhand on goal, if you're passing a backhand on the pitch, try and bring it back down to about 90%, maybe even 85. Don't go lower than that, because if you're really trying to play a soft backhand, that's usually when your technique sort of gets the better of you and you get a mistrap or you hit a back stick and then actually everything just looks really ugly. So I always say when you're hitting a reverse pass, don't give it everything you have, but just use about 90%, so take off 10%, and that should give you a nice clean low pass. So the difference between giving everything you have and throwing everything you have into the shot is that when it comes to a reverse pass, you're gonna try and stay a little bit more upright because you have to get the right contact in an angle like this. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and bring the ball to the left side of our body. So for example, if I'm on the midfield here and I get a free hit, I'm gonna lay the ball down to the left side of my body. And then from here, I'm gonna bring my hands together at the top of the stick and I'm gonna try and try and stay high with my body and try and come back down with my right foot forward and try and get an angle where I hit the heart of the ball. If you go a bit lower, it'll probably go up. If you go a bit higher, that's when you're gonna make back stick or you're not gonna get the right contact. So what you want is you want a nice angle where the middle of the stick hits the heart of the ball. That's what you're trying to go for. That's when you get that perfect dart down the turf. Let me show you. All right, so what I really like about this, uh, this reverse pass is that you can really uh, disguise it really well. If you look at the top players that use this pass in the game, what they're usually doing is they're bringing their body towards the left side of the pitch. They're actually doing as if they're gonna play towards that side of the field, so to the left side of the field. But in the corner of their eye, they either have contact with a, with a teammate or someone's making a lead cross to the other side. And then they can actually surprise by doing as if they're playing that way and then boom, they're playing actually 90 degrees that way. So that's what I really like. So for example, you're running the ball on the midfield and in the corner of your eye, you've seen someone free on the right side of the pitch, but you're letting everyone think you're going to the right. And then all of a sudden, bang, you're going to the other side of the field. And so another part of the field where you can use the reverse pass is obviously when you're going into the D. And this one is the one that's probably used the most of all passes uh, when it comes to the reverse pass is that when you're on the left side of the pitch and you're using the ball 
in an action and you're coming in a situation like this, and in the corner of your eye you see someone in front of goal and you want to pass it there. Most important thing when you're doing that is that you don't take too much speed off the ball. So like I said before, maybe take off 10% to make sure you get the right contact in the middle of the ball, in the heart of the ball, but you want to give it some speed as well because otherwise it's going to get intercepted. And when you're giving this cross, what you want to try and do is you want to try and imagine that the goalkeeper has the first part of the goal. So when you pass it in front of goal, you want to go about a meter outside the second post. So say you're in an action like this, you're bringing the ball to the left. From here, you want to go play it about a meter and a half outside the post. I'll show you one more. From here, say I'm in a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to let the defender think I'm going that way, but I go this way and then I see my teammate and right there in front of goal, that's where you want to play the ball. Attacker can slide in, play the deflection and try and make a goal. All right, so a little extra tip. If you're on high speed and you're trying to beat your defender, when you're on high speed, try and hit the, the, the cross with your, right foot, with your left foot forward. Well, normally when you have time, you do your right foot forward for technique, but when you're on high speed, try and use your left foot forward. All right, so um, I've shown you uh, two options, just in build-up, how you can use the reverse pass, and when you're coming in over the left side and you want to give a reverse cross, but I also want to show you how you can use it on the right side. Obviously, when you're coming in over the right side, it's more likely to use forehand passing, whether it's a hit, a sweep, or a push pass. However, when a circle is packed, and sometimes if your opponent is playing a little bit more frontal pressure, or maybe the opponent is coming a little bit more this way because you're beating him on the outside too much, what you can do is you can use the reverse pass as a surprise. When, so for example, you're on the right side of the pitch, you're running down this way, and you can pull it back this way, where you're actually doing as if you're gonna pass back around into your buildup, but then you can surprise by hitting a reverse into the D. And obviously, um, you're going over four hands, which is gonna make it difficult to actually reach someone. However, if the defense is not paying attention and they're not low down to the ground and they're a bit high, and you can play balls into the, into the D and into the danger zone, your teammates can come in there and try and do diving uh, tip-ins and deflections. So it can, be, it can be really dangerous and it's just really hard to defend. So um, the pre-move is important. So you're coming in like this, you're doing as if you're going around the outside, you lay it back and then from here, you try and play a cross in front of goal. So a last uh, bit of advice to do an alternative move is to, instead of turning inside like this, just frontal, what you can do is you can move this way and if the defender is really close, you can lay it back like here. So you turn with your back to goal and then you do the skill. It's a bit more difficult because, because you have a blind spot, you can't really see where you're going, but just try and focus on your technique. So for example, you're running this way, defender's closing and you're coming back like this and then playing the reverse across the front for your teammates to deflect in. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck. See you next week. Bye.